guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys watching today's video. Today's video, guys, we're gonna talk about the only two settings you need to know about on your electronics as far as on your two-dimensional sonar. Um, I'm gonna go over this over here, explain a little bit about how to do it and how to simplify it, and really talk a little bit about how effective 2D sonar is uh, that's largely forgotten. So we're going to get into that in today's video. And before we get started, guys, I just want to remind everybody out there, if you haven't had a chance to please check out our Fish the Moment virtual lessons. Um, if you guys are interested in booking a, a lesson online with me to go over any topic in fishing, um, you can do that by booking the virtual lesson through fishthemoment.com. I'll put the link in the description and much appreciated with that. Okay, guys, what I want to talk about here is two-dimensional sonar here. Now, 2D sonar, like I said, in my opinion, guys, you don't need the live scope crap. You can you can do so much with two-dimensional sonar, everything that you need to do in bass fishing. And if you think that it's just outdated and, and you know, antiquated and you can't compete with it, guys, three, three years ago when I fished the bass, all the Bassmaster Opens across the country, um, I finished uh, 13th in the points for, stand, for the standings for the year. And I had the fish on to actually win Angler of the Year that year in the Bassmaster Open uh, points race. And every single fish that I caught that year was on 2D sonar. That's I didn't catch anything with down imaging, side imaging, and you guys know I don't use forward-facing sonar. So, in essence, you know, I could have been the, number, the high, highest ranked angler on the Bassmaster Opens with just two-dimensional sonar. So, I want to... What I want to do today, guys, is I'm going to show you the two settings that you need to know and how to adjust them and uh, how you can get the most out of that. Okay, so guys, let's go. idle around here a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as the two most uh, critical adjustments that you need to make with it. Now, first of all, you go into your menu and pull up your uh, adjustments on your 2D sonar. It looks like I have there. Now, the first one you're going to see here is sensitivity. And you can see I have the sensitivity at about probably 18 Guys, sensitivity, in my opinion, is probably the most critical element and the, the main one you need to know on this. And see the fish right here? Now, these are fish that you can see on the graph here. Notice what happens when I take the sensitivity down. Those fish disappear. Oops, got the wrong, sorry, got the wrong one, guys. There it goes. Notice that, see those fish disappear from the screen when the sensitivity is at about probably eight. Now watch it when I turn it back up. You can see them start to reappear at about 18 there. So in essence here, this is what you have to understand. The deeper the water that you're fishing, the higher the sensitivity has got to be on your unit there. So if you're fishing water that is like, you know, 25 or over, over 25 foot deep, I like to run that sensitivity up around, you know, 16 to 18, something like that. That's like a super, super important uh, factor on there. Now, once you get a familiar, guys, like you can see all these fish out here, you know, you can really tweak it to not get too much interference. That's about right. If you can see right there, there's a bunch of fish out here. These are probably crappie. You know, there's a little shad school right there, but uh, that's the adjustment there. Now, the next one, guys, you want to make, pull up your screen and go to the chart speed. See the thing that says chart speed right there? And you notice it says three right there. Your chart speed needs to match the speed of your boat. See, I'm going 3.4 miles an hour and my chart speed um, is right at right about three. This is exactly what you want it here, guys. You want to make sure that your chart speed is the same speed as your motor. If you're idling faster, you know, like I said, let me knock it up here a little bit more. So here I'm idling you know, five miles an hour, I just simply go down, I move my chart speed up to five or six. And what that does is that keeps up and it gives you a more accurate reading of the bottom, you know, when your chart speed is the same as the boat speed there. But guys, it's really as simple as that. If you uh, don't want to get caught up in the electronic rat race and you don't want down imaging, side imaging, or forward facing sonar, you don't need it either. You can get by with 2D so sonar, two dimensional sonar, these days, the detail that you can see out of that, you just don't hardly miss anything. And like I said, in my opinion, there's really only two adjustments you need to make. There's one with the sensitivity, one with the chart speed. Everything else is pretty much set from the factory, you know, good to go on that. But once you once you get a feel for how to adjust that in different water depths, um, then you're gonna get a real accurate depiction of what's on the bottom there. 
But anyway, guys, another thing that I'll leave you with on here is um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are frustrated by forward-facing sonar and they don't want it. Don't let it, let it get you down. You do not have to have it in order to catch a ton of bass and compete. You can do it. You could do it with a flasher. There's a different population of fish that are, that are uh, able to be caught without that technology. So don't ever feel like you're... Uh, you know, getting left out or you, you can't compete anymore because you're not using the high tech stuff. All you need really guys is just 2D sonar and you can catch a ton of bass. So hope it helps out. We'll talk later.